silver. Lots of fun. We have a number of different items, different shapes and sizes, so to speak, all throughout the evening. And tonight, well, guess what? We're going to attack with some very affordable dimes. Take a look at this. The Mercury, right? The coin renaissance of President Theodore Roosevelt started where? 1916. We re Theodore Roosevelt wanted our coins at the beginning of the century to become a much better place to be, a much more interactive look and feel for our coinage. So Augustus St. Gaudens designed the gold coins, the 20 and the 10, Bella Leon Pratt, the two and a half and the five. Augustus St. Gaudens got sick. You know, uh, Victor David Brenner took on the scent. Buffalo nickel in 13, but the silver coins all came out in 1916. The Mercury Dime, the Standing Liberty Quarter, and that beautiful Walking Liberty Half Dollar. 90% silver, oh my. Now of them, the Mercury Dime here, Winged Liberty, worked itself through until 1945, and it was replaced with the passing of our only three-term president, President Roosevelt when his coin was introduced in 1946. So tonight we have a beautiful opportunity to get in on hand-selected circulated coins. This is for a roll of 20 coins, everybody. So that means if you just do the simple math with me, 69.95, 20 means $3.50. Yep, that's crazy. We're always looking for different angles right now in the marketplace because we know the Silver Eagles are a bit of a premium for just uncirculated coins in a capsule. Proofs are starting to skyrocket other than our special we had earlier tonight. So ingots, medallions are ways of looking and we have those every once in a while too. But there's a lot of value still in the old 90% because before Inglehart introduced one ounce silver rounds in 1982, and it was so popular that the U.S. Mint looked at it and made their own in 1986. How funny is that? The one ounce round after the big silver run up in 1980. We had silver as high as $65 at 50 for a long time. It was just a crazy time. So 90% silver was kind of the way to hold silver for the citizen side of the world. Because how many people could buy a 100 ounce bar of silver? So limited the interaction, but dimes, quarters, half dollars, those were the coins that were in circulation. They pulled silver in 1935, if you recall. So the, the coins in circulation, well, the workhorse coin, of course, was this one. The dime, it's the one everybody uses on a regular basis, still today. Our coins are hand selected, as you can tell. Beautiful obverse, beautiful reverse, all the damage coins, ding coins, calls, as people call, have all been pulled. My competition, well, we all have mercury dimes. You kind of lose your license if you don't have one, ha, ha, ha. We're at 350 a coin. My competition for the coins you've seen on your screen, which are the coins that you're getting in rolls like this, are between $14 to $20 each. If you take the lowest price coin they have, 14, times 10 is 140, times 2, because there's 20 coins here, you're seeing where I'm going. We are significantly less than that of our competition tonight. So we're always hunting. This is just one of those hunts, right? Where can I find the best value? With silver half dollars at a premium today, because they're the big coin, and the quarter's right behind them, we're looking for the percentage. And the percentage means the dimes are the closest to the spot price in silver in the marketplace for old 90%. That's a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing, right? Guys, we got to put a one minute clock up on these. Lots of phone calls. Thank you so much. If you're hearing the fast busy and it's been bouncing back and forth, for the last couple of minutes, that's why that little moniker, avccoins.com, has been popping up on your screen. If you're here in the fast busy, it's a short one. Take a deep breath, 
hit redial on your phone, it'll bring you right back in. And one of Hunter's crew tonight will be happy to take care of you. We got a great crew tonight, and they'd love to talk to you. We appreciate the opportunity to do business, and we're going to be working our tails off, so to speak, to keep on bringing stuff like this out. But finding these old vintage dimes is, well, just part of the fun. Multiple dates, multiple mint marks, the key is 20 coins, and the secondary part of the key is, well, those 70, those 20 coins are under $70, which means they're under $3.50 a piece. That deserves an oh my. One of my favorite phraseologies on collector coins today. The best of the best. And this one, loaded, everybody. This one is loaded. Silver's in a great place for all of us, so it's all about finding affordable silver. And at $3.50 a coin, that the beautiful quality you're seeing, compared to my competition north of $2.50, same stuff. Good value. Thanks for listening.